show match, whatever you want to call it. Team Brazil is taking on Team Sweden. I want to say this night on actually might mean a lot because you want to start at CT side, baby. It's still very CT sided. Bleh, we didn't get to cast at this major, but we're going to cast this one. <laughs> All right, we already see that it's a flurry of frags for the Brazilian side. It's two on two, though. FNX getting taken down. One on one, Bleh! It's one on one! It's Carrigan just fallen to go oh. for the, oh, the tentative. The chicken has fallen, gets it! Oh, yes! Unbelievable seed. <laughs> Can't believe it. And it's going to be Sweden on the T side to begin with. And Brazil, they're going to be the CT side. If an excess here, Cold is baiting for the Duelies. And it's a good couple of kills going the way of the CTs to begin with. Three versus two at the start. And for sniping away deep on that USP, Kerrigan, oh, the timing. It is perfect. Fallen's going to come in with one. And it's down to Olofmeister. He's on his own right here. Yeah, he's got a 1v2. Another player you'd love to see have just a crazy old school performance. He's going to pass by. He's trying to bait him with the footsteps, and Taco's got the duelies. That's a nice shot. The duelies work at any range. Now they're going to try and see if they can smoke up that C connector. First down close to the smoke as well. They've got a good rotation coming on here from the CT side, and the SMGs will chew up the Swedes, no problem. Three versus five, and even getting a bomb plant at this stage is going to be pretty much impossible. Hiding inside of the smoke, but that's going to be tested. Kerrigan on his own. It's the no-scope, but that is about it. 2-0 in favor of Team Brazil. Play for him on this map as well. In fact, this is almost named after him. This play to run out, take a quick left and just hide in that corner. You're going to be a little bit quicker than the CTs are expecting. And you can go for exactly this kind of fight. The AWP, though, from Fallen coming true. It's going to be all of Meister to go down. Good start here. Still, I feel like that would be the true, the true, true time travel land at that point in time. Oh, Kerrigan goes down. Space to work with. Forrest holding for the peak. Nails the shot. That's Cold Zero to go down. A lot of HP taken off Forrest. So now it's on Freiburg to create the play. And as he ever, good headshot on FNX. The alt misses another one. Fallen backing away. There's Fur from Ladder Room. But it's only Freiburg to contend. Forrest with low HP was trying to be a little bit sneaky. Oh, his timing is perfect. It is good, but also running low. He's going to get the shot on Fallen. Picks up the AWP. You might as well. You're low on health, so you're going to need the firepower. Ten seconds, and he goes straight for it. Fur on one side. Taku coming in straight behind him. And they're not going to be slowing this one down. Forrest, surely he knows. I don't think he heard them. He's going to realize as he steps out. Nice shot from Forrest. That's the triple. One more bullet for the quad to clutch this one for his team. Taco's out on top, and he's going to find him and cancel all of that out. A dangerous round. Olaf once again out in Olaf. Taco once again under pressure. This time it's Mac nice. 10s and Tech 9s, and he gets taken down. Taco falls, B bombsite is exposed, and now Sweden has the avenue to push all the way forward. But Fallen's at least put a stop to Freiburg, and now Get Right's up next. Oh, he's pushed in so far. I can't believe he got back around the corner. Still goes down to get right, and Forrest is there in the return. Two versus three, and finally something seems to be working for Sweden, although Cold is here at the back of the bomb site, still fighting away, and all of Meister's got to be careful. He's already been spotted. Nice kill for Cold. It's all on Forrest again to try and clutch it. Deep nade will force him out, and he can't quite land that spray down. Cold on the triple. And a... Hey, guys. Hot Pizza has recently added a cool bonus for you. Now you can open one case for free every 24 hours. Obviously, you're not gonna get a Dragonlord here, but this deal, for example, doesn't look bad. Also, you can always use my code VLADPORT, which will give you another 50 cents and let you open another case for free, like this monster case, for example. Now you have two free skins. You don't like them? No worries. You can always upgrade them and choose yourself what skin you like. Hot Pizza has many cases, with different prices and skins inside, as well as they have recently added a case for those who find those free cases and bonuses ridiculous. I present to you the Matt case, and whoever dares to open it will get an awesome and rare skin guaranteed, like this M4 Howl for example. So guys, make sure to check out Hot Pizza GG and find the best case for yourself. Link will be in description below. Round number five. Forrest. Ooh, up by the E-Box, trying to see if he can find a kill, but FNX is ready and fallen up on top. Oh, they're chewing them up right now. They're in trouble on this T side. Locked out of it so far in the first half. Freiburg and Kerrigan in a two on four. And the positions are well known. Yeah, no problems here as Fur will chew up a couple of more. He's up to seven and three. In, maybe not in FPL immediately, but you can uh, try and build together a team or something. Oh. 
Nicely done. Which obviously for a show match is brutal if you just, you know, you hope you can swing in for some fights, get some straight up aim fights. It's not coming in. Oh, the scope! But Kerrigan didn't see it either. He almost just killed himself there, but get right now in one versus five, and he's gonna go down. It's cold on that AWP doing all of the work in the round. A triple on him. And they almost had them at that breaking point in terms of the economy. It's been postponed for a minute now. Sweden will need to step it up. Good headshot to begin with. That bomb is now dropped in main. And FNX just keeps working it. Runs out of bullets, but gonna pick up the USB instead. And he just wants to keep fighting. Pretty good triple so far. Forrest is on his own. And he's gonna be battling everywhere. Eventually will be a flank coming in, but it's not even gonna be needed. Seven to one. Yeah, they have no idea though. No, I mean, they might have a suspicion, but oh, Cold's arrow is rotating over. This is huge. Oh. Freiburg turns the corner. There's the kill. Now they know, but Freiburg's doubled up. Oh, he's coming back for more as well, but Fallen will be there up close. If he misses that shot, he's dead. And Fur is doing all the work on the other side. Carrigan now. One versus three. Does have the bomb and does have a minute on the clock. The next level play, he's going to push up and he's hoping Taco would never expect this, and he's right. Yeah, why would you? <laughs> Heart attack for Taco, <laughs> he's definitely not ready for that one. Now goes straight for a slightly open plant, could be dangerous. And the element of surprise is all with Fallen at the moment. Carrigan not sure where to look, and Fallen's coming around the corner, and there it is, takes him down. No rounds. Hey, well, we've had we've had elements and moments from pretty much all the, all the Brazilian players have had their rounds. We have yet to see the Swedish players show up in the show match. Kerrigan's gonna find a kill on the Fallen, alleviate some of the pressure outside, use a smoke to run a route by High Train. They've gotta get past Taco. And they've gotta get past Cold Zera, who's gonna come through the smoke for us. Goes down to Fur, and there's Cold Zera to clean it up. To peek off contact, watching High Ramp, now he's exposed. Poor timing, Whoa. awkward timing, but he recovers, and Fur's there to hold down the fort as well. They had... Anything but Deagles in that moment is possible. I think they maybe had one AK, but Taco almost completely exposed. Freiburg now, nothing that he could do behind here. Smoke is there. He could try and fight and maybe do a little bit more damage, but ultimately, they're all going to be showing up. This is a lockdown first half for the Brazilian side. The Swedes need to wake up. Oh, oh no, you're going to knife him in a show match? Surely not. Freiburg! There we go. All right, establishes a little bit of respect. See how much space they could even get on the map at the moment. They're trying a little bit over at the B-bomb side. At least Freiburg is working that. It's going to be Olaf Meister to take down for the start of the round. So there is a chance once again. Forrest deep in there and nobody saw that coming. FNX get knocked out before he get the rifle back out. Fallen's in a lot of trouble too. They're up close. A missed shot and he's dead, but he won't miss. Forrest goes down. And now it's a three versus two and Taco is there on the flank. No hostages being taken by Team Brazil tonight. What a disgusting sequence. That's old school. Good shot on the get right. This one is better. Both the Swedish legends, the greatest Swedes to play the game. He shuts them down. Five ops for Team Brazil. Hell yes. It's been, you know, much romanticized. Now we actually see it in play. <laughs> Fallen. He keeps going. Freiburg and Forrest finally answering back a little bit. This may be their chance to get a little bit of something. Get right's going to be finding Taco, and the orbs have fallen flat, although Cold Sierra and FNX are still here. FNX sneak it out, and he's going to find <laughs> Forrest. A mythical strategy. Unheard of. But now, actually put into play. Freiburg in a lot of one versus two against the Bob's double. Bob's for him. There it is. Gonna be real careful. Oh! <laughs> what a peak! Cold Sierra and a Ferrari taking down Freiburg. A 14 to 1 start. I can't even blame them. I cannot even blame them. In front of this crowd, I'd probably do the same as well, but maybe there is still a chance to revive some of the legacy of Swedish Counter Strike right here. Some good kills to begin with. Bomb is making its way back, trying to clear out this Cold Sierra, and he's gonna find that crouching shot on the Freiburg. That's a really nice kill to open this up with, and they should be able to get a quick bomb plant here before they're interrupted. Cold is holding him at bay with a Glock, trying to just buy some time. He's going to go down eventually, and they'll find Fallen as well. It's a good start to this round. It's all on Fur, and he's battling it out alone. Tons of bullets, but can't find the headshot, so... Oh, Gerrit's about to be challenged. He's going to play behind the smoke. He gets close up, beats the Molotov. 
Taco's biding his time. Coldzera's already swung out up top. So have Fur and FNX, but they're in a 3v5. They do have weapons. And good job from Coldzera to find a kill. Alleviate some of the pressure from this defense. However, the rest of his teammates and himself, they all fall. It's 14 to 3. And he walks out right behind it. That's some really close timing from Get Right. Does he want to keep going? Oh, Taco's coming back with the AK. Get Right's looking the wrong way, and that's an easy kill. Get Right trying to find some info for his team. And Forrest is quickly there. Deep towards the C connector. Three on three now. And looks like it's going to be that A bomb site. Freiburg with some good spray to bring down FNX. And Fallen wants to go straight for the bomb plant. Being covered by Cole, but not quite enough. Cole reloading in the background. And now instead it's a one on two and no bomb plant. Ten seconds. It should not be winnable for Cole at all. And Kerrigan will bring him down. It's a good round for WP as you try and just speed up with the bomb plant down right away. Taco running through the fire up on the high ground and he almost catches Get Right. That was nearly a perfect entry. Now he's still putting on the pressure and Get Right gets blown up. He just couldn't find any safety. A missed shot and a huge opening here for Brazil. Oh, I don't think you lose this. Unless Freiburg does something special. He's got a clear on high train as well. He's the first player moving up. Kerrigan's going to be there as well. Olaf coming around towards high ramp. Oh, he tries Freiburg. There's one opening at the very least. Looking to see if he could find a clutch. Kerrigan goes down and Olofmeister as well. Freiburg and he eventually found. Cold doing so much work. He lands another headshot and he brings down Olofmeister. He is just impossible to beat. He's got the quad kill out of bullets. No scope from <laughs> Forrest. He denies the ace and he wants to keep going to hunt him down. Now we've got a show match. They stab Forrest on the stage in front of the home crowd to get to 15. Backed out into his seat, round 21, coming in hot. What a round from Cold Zero with the Tech 9. Opening kill on the get right, but that was pressure applied by Taco. This is just fine shooting with the Tech 9. Yeah, the, the 5 a.m. DM. Fallen. It's a nice attempt, but Freiburg is going to be quick with it. Taken down, Fallen. Four on five here. Deep angle for Carrigan with the AWP. Almost could have had that one, but they have a lot of presence. Three man set up in the yard, always good. And a headshot from Forrest will bring down FNXO. This is it's looking very, very good. Cold and Taco are left. Hoping to make a two on five comeback with about 50 seconds on the clock. I don't know, the way that Cole was playing the last round almost makes you think maybe it could be done. But look at Carrigan, he's got him pinned in. Does miss the shot, giving him a chance. <laughs> then he no scopes in for the smoke. I guess that makes up for it. Yeah, because why not? Yeah, that's how you do. Taco brought low, 17 HP, 30 seconds. He's going to keep challenging. Oh, Forrest wants to get the knife back. He wants to get the knife back. He's coming for it. Taco shuts him down. Smile on his face as he does it. That's still and going Get Right's it. even coming in for the knife. <laughs> he has mercy, though. Sweden needs nine rounds in a row. And Taco's going to come right through the smoke, challenging oh. into the Molotov. He does not care. He's taken down by Freiburg. Yeah, dedicated. You've got to give it to Taco. He was all in on that play. And they're going to lose Fur as a follow-up. So three versus five now. And cold up here. Very aggressive with the Galil, but he has no idea. Forrest is up close, and that's in a free kill. Gerard takes down a couple of kills at the end himself. Gerard getting... A little you know, bit of a blast for the past himself. All the stories from Cold's era through the years are that he, he is one of those players who just doesn't have any chill when it comes to this guy. Like, he cannot play at any level other than 100%. Yeah. Like, his entire practice regime that the players have told us about over the years is that Cold's era would just doesn't play like FPL, doesn't play the pro parts. He would go into matchmaking with, like, four of his friends from home, and he would play like it was a major grand final. Change. Oh, classic smoke towards the bottom of Ivy. See if Taco knows how to throw it. Oh, they have. They really have been practicing, haven't they? <laughs> so it's so dorky. I hate everything about it, but I also love everything <laughs> about it. One for one trade from Freiburg. Kerrigan missed an opportunity. He's going to push forward, but now he's very exposed. Three on three. Oh, he did see that Kerrigan. Very risky. Up close like this with the AWP, but he's on point. Taking down Cold Sierra. That's the bomb confirmed up by the E box. And Taco hoping for it, but Kerrigan. Not easily going to get broken in this round. Now it's all on Fallen. One versus three. He wins he these. Knows what yeah, he does. Very often. There's another flick to bring down Kerrigan. 20 seconds. And now it's just Forrest to try and stop this on the other side. Fallen has got the triple. 
Could he save this one for Brazil before it gets out of control? He's made a run for it with the bomb, escaping into the B-bomb site. And Forrest does not know yet. He's beat. He's so far away, Forrest. By the oh, he's got it. He's got it. And Forrest has no idea where Fallen's going to be positioned. This is one of the hardest scenarios on train. These 1v1s, when there's plenty of time after the bomb gets planted, how the hell do you figure out where Fallen is? You can see Forrest was waiting. He was expecting the rounds to just expire. Fallen he missed him by a second. He's back for it. And there's the win. A one versus three crunch. It could not have been more historic. That's some vintage Fallen. Vintage Fallen on train, so good with the op, so good with the angles. And it's absolutely perfect victory for Team Brazil. They close out.